what's up guys i just finished my shoulder workout filmed most of it so you'll see that um probably right before this clip just barely missed this florida rain you guys you have no idea if you live in florida or in one of those kind of southern states where you know the rain just comes down like a bath water on yourself um i literally just got in the car and it started to pour right after that so i don't know if you can see but i'll show you uh, i'm gonna drive in this gotta drive in that madness it's better than walking in it without an umbrella all right guys my post-workout meal is this barbecue flavored chicken fat-free mozzarella cheese and it's wrapped in romaine lettuce and it should be really good Today I'm going to talk about my five top tips on overcoming intimidation in the gym. Now these, this is something that I still struggle with myself. Um, a lot of people that I know struggle with this. Even doesn't matter who you are, whether you're a bodybuilder, female, male, if you're older, if you're young, if you're just starting out at the gym or if you've been at the gym for a while, it's something that is just, it's, the gym is intimidating. That's why they have places like Planet Fitness that says no intimidation. But really, working out at any gym can be intimidating. So here are my top five tips on how to overcome intimidation and fear in the gym. So number one is going to be have a plan before you get there. So before you even leave for the gym, have it planned out, written out in your phone or on a piece of paper of your what you're working out that day, your sets, your reps, exactly what machine you're going to use, Think about it in your head if you can of like, okay, I'm gonna start on the squat rack and then I'm gonna move to the cables and whatever. Um, so make sure you have your plan all written out so you know exactly what you're doing so you don't just walk in and you're kind of like wandering around like, uh, okay, uh, this, this, no one's on this machine, I guess I'll just go over there. Like, no, have a real plan. The second tip is going to be, this one's really kind of obvious, but major, major key. Wear headphones, if you want big like noise blogging headphones, whatever, whatever just floats your boat. Um, and put on some, you know, really motivational music for yourself. Whatever kind of music that is for you, gangster rap, Kanye West, Taylor Swift, whatever. Whatever works for you and makes you not think about everybody else there. Um, and then also turn it up nice and loud. You don't want barely, you know, barely anything going on in the background there. What you want it to be almost your full focus is the music. Tip number three is going to be have tunnel vision. So when you're at the gym, you don't want to look around and kind of wonder what everybody else is thinking, if they're watching you, whatever. Just stay focused on your workout and what you're doing. Look straight ahead, don't even, don't even look around during your sets. Go on your phone, get on you know, bodybuilding.com or whatever kind of motivating website is helpful for you. And just focus on your own workout and nobody else. Tip number four is going to be act confident even when you're not. So if you're walking around between your between machines or you know going to get water or whatever, just have a confident air about yourself and no one ever has to know that you're actually just freaked out. Tip number five, and this one is major key as well. This is gonna wrap it up. Um, I actually got this from Emily Hayden. If you don't know who she is, she's an IFBB Pro, bikini competitor. I follow her on YouTube. She's amazing, has some great advice for this um, same kind of topic. But she, she pointed out that your workout is important too. So don't let some big old bodybuilder guy scare you off of your bench or don't let somebody come up to you and ask, oh, well, how, many, how many sets do you have left on the squat rack? And then you're like, uh, um, uh, one or maybe two. If you have five, tell me you have five. That's it. 
you have five. Your workout is important, just as important as everybody else's. So own that workout and don't let them scare you into hurrying it up or choosing to do something on a separate machine instead of doing it on a bench with weights just because you feel like there's a lot of guys there. They're probably gonna, you know, be waiting around for you to get off. Who cares? You can do it. They're, your workout is just as important as theirs. So that will wrap it up. I hope this really helps you guys. Let me know if you like these kind of videos and please keep watching for the rest of the vlog. All right guys, the next meal today are these protein waffles as you've seen in my previous videos. They have little sprinkles on them because everyone deserves sprinkles.